So you know the color wheel exists. You hear the fancy terms and phrases and you're told all about how important color is. But today you're going to learn how to actually apply that knowledge and more importantly, how to apply it to photo manipulation specifically. I'm Abby Esparza with photomanipulation.com and we gotta talk about color. Color can make or break an image. In fact, you can absolutely nail everything about an image only to have it bomb thanks to some unwise color choices. That could mean your image did a double reverse swan dive into a brick wall on social media or shared one too many similarities with a mud puddle. And we're in the same boat. Color is hard. Color has several different properties, variables, color harmonies. Uh, did you know color has a weight? Painters have had hundreds of years to perfect this stuff. Uh, photographers can't complain, they've had a century and then some. Not only are photo manipulators the twisted forlorn half-child of the two, with nothing being written with us specifically in mind, but we're 90s babies. We just started to walk. So today we'll be covering color theory as it directly relates to photo manipulation. We'll be talking hues, tints, shades, and tones, brightness, lightness, and luminance, which are all different things by the way. Look, we're already learning. This is part one of a three-part series. Every video will have its description updated once the next part is uploaded, so take a peek and see if it's there. If not, it'll be very soon. Put on your schoolyard pants because we're gonna talk about the color wheel. The color wheel is important as it's going to be what helps you make informed decisions when choosing your colors, regardless of whichever color harmony you're working with. Uh, we're getting a little bit of ahead of ourselves though. Let's talk primary colors. Yeah, I know, red, yellow, blue, blah, 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 right? Red, yellow, blue is a farce, a lie, a conspiracy pushed by big pigment. Maybe not that last thing, but still red, yellow, blue aren't the prime colors of anything other than maybe the prime colors of deceit. Cyan, magenta, yellow, black, CMYK are the primary colors of pigment. Red, green, and blue, RGB, are the primary colors of light. As a photo manipulator, someone whose canvas is a screen, you will more likely than not be working on an RGB color space. So the RGB color wheel will be the one we learn to utilize. Secondary colors are a combination of any two primary colors. The secondary colors of the RGB color model are cyan, magenta, yellow. Color gamma is the entire range of possible colors that can be produced by mixing the three primary colors of a color space. So here we have our two RGB color wheels. But these wheels simply show our hue, our pure colors. All hues are colors, but not all colors are hues. To produce different colors, hues are tinted, shaded, and toned. But before we can cover tints and tones, we need to talk about luminosity. Luminance is measured by the actual intensity of light only by its objective physical attributes. When shopping for a computer screen, you may have seen this. That number objectively shows the level of light that the screen emits. Brightness is used to describe how our eyes perceive the luminance of an object. Your perception of your phone's luminance in a dark room is that it's very bright. Bring it outside and it will appear darker. The luminance hasn't actually changed, but the brightness has as brightness is dependent on its surroundings. Lightness or luminosity is the perceived brightness of an object when compared to another white object being illuminated by the same light source. Lightness is the perception of brightness without any color information. When you hear the term tonal range or tonal scale, they are talking about a luminosity scale ranging from black to white, covering the darks, midtones, and lights. So what's the difference? Luminosity or lightness is the perception of brightness without any color information on a scale from black to white. These colors are the same brightness as they are being viewed on your screen, technically. 
but we perceive the yellow to be lighter and the blue to be darker. We perceive blue to be closer to black, with yellow being closer to white. So this perceived brightness is lightness, otherwise known as luminosity. Luminosity is one of the most important concepts for an artist to know, and it's the basis for choosing contrasting colors correctly. And choosing contrasting colors correctly is what keeps your image from looking like a muddy mess. With the differences between luminance, brightness, and luminosity, the important one, in mind we can move on to tints, shades, and tones. When you're referring to the tint of something, you're referring to the amount of white in a hue. Any color that is not pure white can be tinted. The higher amount of white added, the higher the tint, the higher the color's luminosity value. When looking at an image, it's fairly rare you'll see flat whites being used. They will almost always be very light tints. Shading will decrease the lightness value of colors. Just like with white, you'll rarely find flat black in a photo composite, especially in the shadows. Instead, you'll find dark, desaturated colors. Toning is the addition of gray to a color. Toning a color increases the lightness value as it desaturates the color. Speaking of desaturation, saturation is the purity of a color. Tinting a color will desaturate it as will toning a color. Lowering the saturation of a color will increase its luminosity value. In color theory, color harmony refers to the property that certain aesthetically pleasing color combinations tend to have. You have absolutely heard of at least a few of them. But before choosing your color harmony, you'll need to choose your key color. Most of the time, the key color is the most dominant color in an image. It's going to be your main color, with all other colors hinging on it. It's important. So where are we at? We learned that RYB is a lie, and this is our true color wheel. Luminosity, also known as lightness, and the tonal range are some of the main pillars that make up color contrast, and are invaluable theories to know and that you can't pick a color harmony without your key color first, the color that will drive your image's whole color story. In part two, we'll be talking all about color harmonies, creating swatches, figuring out just how much color weighs, and some of the sites and resources that are out there to help you nail your colors. Get excited! Speaking of color, if you want to skip ahead and learn all about color grading, check out my beginner's guide to the color lookup adjustment layer. It's a top 5 tool of mine and a must for anyone who wants to start or already loves to color grade their images. I'm Abby Esparza with photomanipulation.com. See you next time.